testosterone levels are dropping, sperm counts are crashing, and metabolic disease is on the rise and faster than ever. And one silent, invisible factor connects all of it endocrine disruptors. They are a scientifically established public health threat affecting every single one of us. In this video, you're going to learn what an endocrine disruptors actually are, how they interfere with your hormones, and why they're contributing to a decline in testosterone and fertility rates in young men. And most importantly, what you can do right now to lower your exposure. If you care about your long-term hormonal health, subscribe because the rest of these series is going to change how you look at your environment. Okay, endocrine disruptors used to be brushed off as conspiracy theory, but that era is over. The scientific consensus is now overwhelming. These chemicals interfere with your hormone function at multiple levels of our endocrine system, and exposure is happening everywhere. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, Endocrine disruptors are chemicals that alter hormone synthesis, secretion, transport, binding, and elimination. And because hormones operate on microscopic signals, even the tiniest exposure can shift entire physiological systems off course. These compounds are now linked to breast cancer, testicular cancer, thyroid dysfunction, infertility, diabetes, obesity, developmental abnormalities, nerve damage, and widespread hormone imbalance. It's infecting our environment so much that even the wildlife shows the same disturbances, which tells you that this is not subtle and it's not hypothetical. And the most fragile group that's affected are young children. And we'll get into exactly why in just a minute. There are several major categories of endocrine disruptors that you're exposed to. Persistent industrial chemicals that accumulate in the body's fat and can remain there for decades. This includes flame retardants used in furniture and mattresses, chemical coatings inside electronics, and even residue from industrial manufacturing processes that fall into this category. First up are pesticides, especially the aganophosphates and ganochlorides, which are designed to destroy the reproductive and neural systems of insects. And because mammillary hormone pathways are similar, these compounds affect humans in very similar ways. Even pesticides that break down quickly outdoors can linger inside the homes for years. Settling into the carpets, the furniture, the HVAC ducts, and even dust particles that circulate continuously through the air that you breathe in. Indoors, sunlight, heat, and moisture, which normally help chemicals degrade, are limited, allowing these compounds to remain active far longer than people realize. This creates a slow, steady exposure that becomes part of the background environment of daily life. Then there's BPA, one of the most pervasive endocrine disruptors in modern society. It's woven into the very infrastructure of how we store, package, and handle food. BPA leaches from plastic food containers, the epoxy lining inside the canned foods, thermal paper, receipts, and even the sports drink lids, and countless of manufactured minerals that touch every day without even thinking. Because BPA behave like a synthetic estrogen, even tiny amounts can interfere with sex hormone signaling, metabolic processes, and even feedback loops that regulate testosterone and estrogen balance in both men and women. Its impact is not limited to reproductive hormones. BPA influences glucose regulation, fat storage, thyroid activity, and even neural development, making it one of the most influential disruptors in the modern environment. Then there's phthalates, which add another layer to the problem. These chemicals are blended into plastics to make them more flexible and are found in scented products, soaps, shampoo, vinyl flooring, toys, packaging, and even some medical tubing. Once inside the body, phthalates disrupt sex steroid balance, interfering with thyroid hormone regulation, impairing sperm development, altering insulin sensitivity, and contributing to fat accumulation, essentially pressuring on multiple metabolic and reproductive layers at the same time. Heavy metals such as cadmium, arsenic, lead, and mercury create their own category of disruption. These metals persist in your body for years and sometimes decades, and they bind directly to hormone receptors, altering how hormones are perceived at a cellular level. They disrupt thyroid pathways, interfering with neurological development, damaging reproductive tissue, and contributing to long-term fertility decline. Together, these exposures layer on top of each other, create a chronic hormonal noise that endocrine system was never really designed to handle with. Understanding the list is part of the picture. What matters is how these chemicals interfere with your hormones, especially testosterone. Male reproductive physiology is extremely sensitive during fetal development, childhood, and adolescence. Endocrine disruptors target many points of the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis. 
essentially how your brain communicates to your testes. It lowers testosterone production, damaging the Sertoli and Leydig cell development, which are the cells inside the testes. It impairs sperm formation and altering puberty timing and increasing lifelong infertility risks. Maternal exposure to BPAs, phthalates, and dioxins can permanently reduce sperm quality in male offspring. Even sometimes as simple as consuming products with high pesticide residue has been shown to correlate with significantly lower sperm counts and poorer morphology in young men. These disruptors also heavily impact thyroid function. Thyroid hormone regulates the metabolism, brain development, mood, energy, temperature, and cardiovascular stability. And endocrine disruptors can alter T4, T3 levels, leading to metabolic dysfunction, cognitive impairment, emotional instability, low energy, and developmental abnormalities in children. Boys appear to be particularly vulnerable when exposed during early development. Then there's the nervous system. Many endocrine disruptors directly disrupt neurosteroid pathways and the HPA axis, which regulates stress, hormones, and this disruption contributes to anxiety, mood disorders, bipolar-like symptoms, psychosis-related presentations, impaired memory, and reduced stress tolerance. Chronic elevations of glucocorticoids from these disruptions damage the hippocampus, which is the brain's memory and emotional regulation center. Beyond this, some endocrine disruptors alter neurotransmitter levels, receptor sensitivity, immune system behavior, brain structure, sexual development pathways, and metabolic control. These shifts ripple through mood, adaptation, cognition, fertility, and long-term health. All of this becomes even more concerning when you understand why young men are uniquely vulnerable. Today's environment is saturated with estrogen-mimicking chemicals, creating an internal hormonal environment that directly works against healthy androgen-driven development. Young men's testes, Leydig cells, Sertoli cells, and androgen receptors are still programming themselves. That programming is sensitive, and endocrine disruptors interfere with those signals, lowering the output of testosterone, reducing fertility, and altering lifelong hormonal set points. Add in processed diets, nutrition deficiencies, poor sleep, chronic stress, plastic and foods, pesticide-covered produce, and daily exposure to phthalates and parabens through hygiene products, you have a perfect storm. This is a major driver behind the 30-40% to 40 decline in testosterone levels over the past few decades. The bottom line is that endocrine disruptors affect fertility, metabolism, puberty, mood, brain function, and long-term disease risk. Quietly, consistently, and universally, exposure is unavoidable, but vulnerability is not. There are real measurable steps you can start taking today to reduce your toxic load, strengthen hormone pathways, and protect your long-term health. Start with simple shifts. Replacing plastic food storages with glass or stainless steel. Avoid microwaving in plastic. Choosing fragrance-free personal care products. And wash produce thoroughly or buy organic whenever possible. Filter your water, clean indoor dust frequently, and avoid handling thermal paper receipts whenever you can. Small changes compound over time, and each one reduces your pressure on your hormonal system. If you want a deeper plan that walks you through practical ways to lower your toxic load and support healthy hormone function, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss some future videos that break down this topic even further. And remember this, small changes create big outcomes when you stay consistent. Your future health is shaped by the decisions you make today. Stay committed, stay informed, and be proactive.